Oh, they've been talking about this for a very, very, very long time. I really didn't think it was ever going to happen. Um, well, and, and I think the one who's directing this is James Wan, I want to say. It's, okay, so and he's the guy that actually did uh, the Conjuring stuff. And he did, uh, actually, you know what his first movie was, was Saw. So that, yeah, so he, he's got a very good, you know, keen eye for violence, <laughs> that's for sure, so. Oh, and he also did my, uh, okay. The quote, who is that? I've never heard of him before. Oh, he produced he produced it. That's what he did though, James Wan. Okay, so that's okay. Just not a director. Okay. And it looks it looks like he's directing. I didn't see this. I'm looking right now, but he he's uh up for doing the remake for the train to Bus uh Busan. Yeah, an Americanized version, I guess. So that's what they're doing for it. Yeah. I know that just you know how they do though they cash in on something that was good and they're like well we yeah. <laughs> no yeah no that there there's just some days where I'm like ah. I don't want to read a subtitled movie today, but then that was a good one though. It's a very one where it keeps you get engaged in. Yeah, special occasions I do. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got you got the black you got the black stuff all over my face <laughs> but uh yeah definitely does Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I am excited for it. The it does bring a lot of fatalities to the the screen. I know they probably had to not go a little overboard, you know, as far as the games go, because those some of those fatalities can be really gruesome. Um, but they still they still did a pretty good job, though. I think of. Uh... I mean, my favorite part was just like when Sub Zero and Scorpion are fighting, and then he cuts him, and then he just grabs like the blood, and I'm like, oh. That's like that. This class feels like Mortal Kombat to me. The whole movie, right there. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, they're doing something very different, and I think they that is a smart idea. They they seem to have created a whole new character for this uh, movie here because, yeah, Cole, I don't think he's anybody we know of. People are saying he may be Johnny Cage, but I'm like, I don't know, maybe. But he's literally, he, he is a brand new character. Maybe there is, but I, to, I, to me, I thought, I was doing a little bit of research, but... uh. <laughs> Someone. No. Well, what's with us reading is that they—that's what they were trying to go for, I guess—is they are going to go for a brand new character. But we'll see. I don't—I don't know. Um, when it comes to the, because I mean, I guess maybe they can work around a little bit better with that, you know, because then they can add more story. Because this is a character we've never heard of, so they can kind of work them around this movie. I don't know. Well, instead of you know doing somebody like Liu Kang, who we kind of know his background, we know. His, So who well, maybe they'll maybe he may be Johnny Cage. <laughs> Cause we didn't see him. That's a that's a very popular character that we're like, well, that's that's one of the you know, and he's even like he was one of the first ones I think that they kinda made for the games and it's like it's kinda feels weird that he's not there. Yeah, that's what I would say. Scorpion and so Sub Zero Two as well, as I say. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, always. They always are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember playing his uh, the Nintendo 64 game. <laughs> it, I kind of played the other day, and I was like, this game's freaking hard. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. we did get it looks like a little bit of a sneak peek of reptile maybe that's who i'm i'm gonna guess that is that's how i'm guessing melina um, we know for sure. Oh, you know what was really cool to see was um not Raiden, but the other one that wears the hat. Um I'm forgetting his name right now. Um He used to always be one of my favorite characters too. He used to throw the hat on the ground. Oh, Kung Lao. But I was I was kinda excited to see Kung Lao. Again, he's my favorite character, that's why. <laughs> I think Kung Lao was his little brother, wasn't it? Uh, Liu Kang's? I can't remember. What was the little brother's name in the first movie? Oh. Okay, okay.
I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, isn't it, is, hasn't the stories been, you know, kind of told, been told very differently and throughout the games? <laughs> mhm. Mm I mean, reading up on some of it, it, it looks like he is so. He's so he's gonna be the supporting lead now. His he's in his thirties, large, rugged. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's Kano. <laughs> lead male thirties, a brand new character for the M uh, K franchise. Cole is struggling, a widowed boxer who cares more about his young daughter than anything. He's incredibly determined and refuses to quit in face of the fantastical adversary. Uh, oh, yeah. So yeah, that seems like yeah, he's gonna be a brand new character. No, he's a boxer. Yeah, he's a yeah. Cause we did see him uh, doing like some little MMA fighting there. But it was like kind of like in a setting of an octagon kind of MA type style, but uh, or a boxer, I guess, is what he is, is, is what they're saying. So, um, yeah, he is. He's the lead uh, lead character. Right. Well, yeah. Well, they may they may do a good job. I mean, Resident Evil when they did a they. I mean, she was my favorite. What character was she based on again? Jill Valentine.
Yeah. Yeah, she uh she turns into like a uh zombie mutant towards the end. <laughs> the, towards the series. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Um, well, see, this is, uh, um, a Chinook, Chinook. Where was he from again? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, now I see, yeah. And I, see, I thought I remember. So, actually, do you remember Jill Valentine actually was in Resident Evil 2? No, she did it. She, she was just... Yeah, yeah. Right. Then we can kind of exactly. Mm -hmm.
Uh, yeah, I do remember him now. Yeah, looking at. <laughs> I, I, I played. I played. Yeah, the that's probably my same here too. I never really got to play the survival games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there, yeah. yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Yeah. It looks. That's not good. Well then, just then we can watch Mortal Kombat too, Annihilation. <laughs> that yeah, but yeah, there was acting wasn't great. The claymation towards the end with the dragon wasn't all that great. I mean, I've seen some great claymation, but that was not great. That was like literally Sinbad looking claymation times, and it's like. But I've seen, I've seen Wallace and Gum Grummet look better than the night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They should they should have they should have hired the guys from Wallace and Grummet. <laughs> But, uh, so anyway, so other movies, I guess that we could talk about that. Did you see the Cruella uh, trailer? It, it's it's another gritty kind of film almost to me. I mean, it felt kind of like really evil at some parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I hope they don't go around this. I think this is just going to be uh, uh, just to show you like her origin story of how she really just became a crazy son of a. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly, yeah. Mm-hmm.
Yeah. <laughs> um did uh did you see that the other news too was uh they're doing a live action Wednesday Adams uh Netflix show and uh Tim Burton's actually going to make uh the direct or directing all of it and this will be his first TV you know to directing instead of doing movies. Um I heard he was supposed to do, I thought he was supposed to do the last Adams family cartoon movie but I guess they he did, they just didn't have him do that one but yeah he's uh I guess been confirmed to do this live action Wednesday Adams show. Uh, I'm kind of excited for that. She's always been my favorite character from the dad's family. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, well, Nintendo had a, a release date, too, of the Nintendo Direct, and they came up with quite a few games that they showed off. Nothing too, I guess, exciting for me, at least, uh, but they announced Splatoon 3, uh, Zelda, the Skyward Sword HD Remix, um, and it looks like they're going to be using the uh, their famous control motions to use the sword and the shield. They said you can play it normally if you want, but that's just an option if you want to play it like that, too, so... Uh, then Fall Guys, which has been out for a little while, and Xbox is coming up too with it as well. So I wonder if that's going to be crossplay. Most likely, I mean, yeah. And then um, maybe yeah, um, Mario Golf is coming back. Super Rush is what it's being called. The 2003, I think, was when they said the last one came out, or four, maybe. Um, right. Monster Hunter Rise is coming as well, which looked pretty good. Um, uh, they're good. The combat system is very, very different. That's for you. You can't just be button mashing for sure, um, because your animations take a little bit longer. So as soon as you click a click a button then you gotta wait for and then once you press another button then you're you know you're just you're kind of just you're messing up your times and everything when you're doing that so um that that too as well yeah gotta do it again <laughs> uh, i think this was just exclusive to switch though is uh <laughs> uh, let's see what else here we have oh stubs the, stubs the zombie is coming to the switch i heard that's uh that was an old school yeah xbox game i think they're supposed to come for the xbox as well um i always wanted to try it yeah as well um you're right it was like destroy all humans. Yeah, destroy all humans. Yeah, that was always my favorite. Um, let's see. There's uh Animal Crossing expansion pack. Um, 
let's see. Uh, oh, Ninja Gaiden Master Collection, which I think was the one, two, three um, collections of them. And then we have World's End Club, Knockout City. Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh, and uh, Super Smash Brothers uh, Fighter Pass Volume Two has been uh, announced, and expansion pass as well for the um, Windbreaker Zelda, or not Wind? Sorry, uh, Zelda. Um, what's the newest one? I just came out with uh, Breath of the Wild. Sorry. Yeah, so they're they're coming out with their expansion pass as well. It's coming out. Um, there's a couple other games, but I'm not really. I've never heard of these ones. These might be just like little indie games that've been out before. So like Hades, Neon White. Uh, Capcom Arcade Stadium, Legend of Mana, uh, Superhero Girls Team Power, actually, I think is a new game, but that one's, yeah, not not something I'm really excited for. Uh, other than that, that was, that's kind of really all they released for their Nintendo Direct. Uh, Samurai Warrior 5, don't know what that is. Falcom De- Defective Club, don't know what that is. Uh, no More Heroes, number three. Uh, Braverly Default, number two. And then Tales from the Borderlands. So, yeah, nothing, like, brand new except for maybe that Splatoon 3 and then uh, their Monster Hunter game. But, like, everything's kind of, like, you know, something that's just being ported over. Oh, yeah, that game looks fun, yeah. <laughs> the what was the one that was coming out that's going to be a pretty difficult game to play was uh they were just showing it off oh i can't remember um other than that let's see i, I got just a few more things on our list because i know we have to make this a short one you said but i know mezco and NECA are been uh releasing all it because it's supposed to be toy fair this month well it's you actually i think it's usually at the beginning of the year but anyways they uh toy toy fair of course not happening this year so a lot of the t- these uh independent uh toy companies like Mezco Toys NECA that aren't like Hasbro or Mattel or anything like that um they were showing off a lot of their stuff these last couple of days and weeks uh Mezco has started theirs the last couple of days and they showed us some really cool things that I'm pretty excited for so they're gonna be doing a um Bill and Ted um Excellent Adventures toys but these are just like five points so these ones are like not their uh, 112 figures that they do. Um, they have a 112 uh, Superman, the original uh, Superman from the movie, coming out. They have a 112 Collective Halloween 2, Michael Myers coming out. This is my favorite one. The has to be the Crow 112 figure that they're coming out with. That one's going to be, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're so expensive, that's for sure. They're like eighty dollar figures, hundred dollar, depending on accessories they come with. But yeah, still, he looks really good. So I, I, I might have to pick this up. And there is no, I don't have like a really good crow figure right now. Um, I know there's been some in the past, but I mean, NECA did a couple, um, right. And then let's see, we have a Fantastic Four, um, 112 figures coming up as well. So those ones are pretty cool. Uh, that was their day one uh, reveals. They got a couple other things like, um, let's see. Oh, they have the Planet of the Apes Conquest of uh, the Planet of the Apes 1972 figures coming out. The the apes are all in their jumpsuits holding their rifles. <laughs> so that would be cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then they have the 112 uh, Wolverine figure wearing his famous uh, Jim Lee uh, Tiger Stripe outfit, yellow and blue. So that one looks pretty good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it's always, I've always liked that costume. It's always been my favorite. Yeah. Well, I mean, then too, we just, because I guess that's what the ones we saw when we were watching the 90s show, so. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And then, 
their last thing that they revealed, which was I was kind of excited too, they're having a one twelve collectible uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Green Ranger, coming out. Um, he looks pretty badass. So. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, and then the, it doesn't even—he's not even putting it to his mouth. It's just right there. It's like it's just in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just worked. We liked it. We were kids. <laughs> um, <laughs> the let's so NECA side here. NECA came out with a few little teases. They have uh, they've been doing the Kenner Alien tributes. So I don't know if you ever remember in the '90s or maybe it was the '80s. Might have been the '90s. Um, but they were doing like Alien toys because they were actually going to come out with an Alien uh, TV show back in the day. But I guess uh, they got them shut down because you know uh, aliens. Yeah, so they didn't think it was going to work. I don't know. I thought that was going to be pretty cool. They did comic books for all these toys, so they were kind of explaining, like, all these genetically modified aliens. So you had, like, one that was, like, a mantis alien, the the uh, scorpion alien, the uh, snake alien, uh, the rhino alien. Um, those are all the ones that NECA's done so far. And then the brand new one that they're coming out with now that they're doing is the panther alien, um, which is, yeah, pretty cool. So... They um they got a couple other ones to do for sure. There's the talk of the Flying Queen alien, um, which was another one they did, and I think there's the Boar alien too is another one that they have yet to do. So uh, hopefully those ones will do here soon. Um, they also teased us with a little bit of some uh, Evil Dead One uh, stuff. So they didn't show us the figure just yet, but they teased us of some accessories from that uh, first movie. Uh, oh. Yeah, I always my favorite. Always my favorite. Yeah. Um, they also are releasing a four pack, of, and they're like in their disguise figures. I don't know if you remember in the '80s, but they had like this episode where the turtles are all like dressed up as humans, and they're like these weird, ugly, fat faces. <laughs> so they. Yeah. But uh, yeah, ch check out some of these toys right here. For the they look ridiculous. But and then it comes with all these other little accessories: different hands, uh, skateboard, uh, boombox. Um, comes with the uh, different facial expressions that they're doing because a lot of people weren't happy with the first way because they were really mean or not mean, but just like you know, like all oh, I'm mad and everything. And the cartoons they were kind of they were always smiling and happy. And they were, uh, so they gave us this that for sure. They gave us a happy set and a mean looking I'm a ready to fight set. <laughs> Of faces, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, excited for that. Um, they teased us with some uh new Back to the Future figures, which they have the license to for a while, and they've had about a couple I think they have like four or five figures now from it. But uh, they teased us with the future version of uh Doc Brown when he's wearing like that shiny gold coat, uh, coat with the like the yeah, so and they got and then they had they show this with like the briefcase he's opening up, and he's got like all the different money. Like from all the different countries, so I'm like, oh, that's gonna be so cool to have. But, uh, and then they also revealed that they have the license rights to uh, the monster uh, Universal Monsters, so they did get to show us. Uh, yeah, they got they got to show us a a black and white version of Frankie. So I was really excited for that. And they teased us a little bit of uh, they're gonna be doing Dracula next. They didn't show us the figure, but they showed us like a, a scene from the movie. So. We were like Dracula right away, and then they did show us a facial of uh, the mummy figure that they're doing as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for uh, for all these um, these stuff to come out. And NECA still says that they got a couple more things to show off. Um, looks like they're going in more on their King Kong line as well. They got some monsters coming out for that uh, King Kong line um, from the original, because um, yeah, they're not doing from the this new license. I think they. Uh, they lost their Godzilla li uh, license because the which Playmates wanted to do it. I don't know if you've been in Walmart these last couple of weeks, but like they have all their Godzilla versus King Kong toys, and 
they're really they're crap but <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I had on my, my list here, I think, here. Um, unless you have wanted to go over some last minute stuff here on your end. Oh, and I guess, so, sorry, WandaVision. We had talked about that just really quick for like a two minutes. I that that that, that ending that ending was really good. I never heard of this character before, be just because I have not been invested in Wanda's universe too much. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah, I just, yeah, I, I mean, the one division was good though so far. I mean, the, the the ending was good. Did you stay for the post credits? There was a post credits finally. <laughs> I do just in case, yeah. I'm just like, let me make sure. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. That'd be good. If we could do if they could do that. I mean, and that's not dumb, you know, like, because, yeah. You kind of have to keep that. I mean, it's cool to have the binging stuff, but then I, I see that they're trying to go for this more, let's wait till next week thing. And... Yeah. I think it's good that they they set the standard of saying we're gonna be like this. We're not gonna be like Netflix and binge everything and yeah. Right now, yeah. And then the thing is, Netflix literally has the money. They they spend so much money on just so many shows that like, and then they end up canceling them like within a season or two. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I, it's too much content, I think, at this point is what's going on. Yeah, it could be true. Yeah, yeah. And now they're going to like even foreign stuff. Like they literally had a list of like everything of all my new releases is foreign stuff. I'm like, what is this? This is all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
And then, uh, sorry, that's my last, sorry, last thing I want to say is Todd did mention that he said it's the year of Spawn, 2021. Universe, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, about time, damn it. <laughs> Oh, he did you see all his list of creators? Oh my gosh, he has a lot, a lot of people that are he Donny Cates has said that he's coming on to do some writing for some of the stuff. I'm like, oh yes. Um uh, yeah, bro, you should see his list of people he has. He has he has a lot of people. J. Scott Campbell's coming, Greg Capullo's coming. Um, I mean, there's just so many uh, top artists, top writers that are all coming to to uh to do some work with him here on this. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how this is all going to go out, but. Um... Oh yeah. Yeah. That one was a little weird how that ended up happening. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. no they can't the, the, you know that one's so weird because what's his name he had a legal battle going on with um, was it Neil At no um, the guy who did Sandman Neil Gaiman I think was the one yeah, he had a legal battle going on with him because they it's technically Neil and them both, I don't know, came up with the character. And then what ended up happening and Neil just said, he ended up selling the rights anyways to Marvel. <laughs> That's why she's in Marvel now. So she... Yeah. But that was, that was in the beginning time when he was first starting out. Like, there was some, there was some sketchy things they were kind of messed up or just messed up on. Well, I f and I feel like he's going more of like the Jonathan Hickman way, where it's like he he has a he has a map set out, but and he's just having a lot of people coming in to help him and do what he needs to do. To get that, but. Well, he has a couple of characters. Yeah, he has like Gunslinger. He has. Um... Hmm. I see. Yeah, the... but this one's definitely not going that way for sure. The way he talked about it. Um, just watch his interview, and you'll you'll kind of see what his idea of he what he's going with this fun universe. Mm -hmm. Well, it's uh, he has uh, right now. There's four books coming out. There's Spawn Universe, and then there's his Scorch book coming out, which is going to be like his Avengers book, and then he has. The main Spawn book coming out, and then there's one more book coming out. I can't remember what the other. Oh, King of Spawn, I think was the other one he called. Yeah, no, it's all Spawn. This is all Spawn stuff. Um, because he, yeah. Which is, I mean, Spawn Spawn kind of went up again this last year, actually, uh, which is crazy. Because he wasn't, they weren't selling actually very good for a couple years there, and uh, yeah, there was there was actually a boom in Spawn last year. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Well, that's that's so that's I said a lot of people came back because he there was a big deal with uh, Spawn three hundred and. I seen a lot of people there. Oh, I want to come back to Spawn three hundred. Wow, three hundred's coming for Spawn. I don't know. Just a lot of people came out the woodworks. So we're like, I'm gonna go respawn now. It's on three hundred, and uh, he he did for sure do like a good starting point with three hundred. Uh, for sure, kind of setting up. You can just see where he was doing his Spawn universe. Uh, he did introduce a new Spawn girl character. <laughs> um, yeah. But I'm I'm down for some spawn. I, I want some more spawn universe. Yeah, that's yeah I know. But you know it's gonna be always his baby, and he's always gonna cater to it more than anything else. <laughs> Even like he's going crazy with the Kickstarter stuff, bro. Like. He literally sold a million. I know, but he sold a million units of spawn like last year just with the Kickstarter. Like, wow, it's just like the people are going going pretty crazy for spawn now. I mean, he just announced too he's gonna be doing some more spawn figures, uh all the toy communities and it's going freaking crazy right now. <laughs> You would be surprised how much toys now are being pretty good. It's an adult uh, collecting world now with toys. I mean, kids don't really collect them, or, but. Yeah, I see what you're saying there, but I mean, toys are more popular, y'all. I mean, there's these new companies that are coming out that are not even Hasbro or Mattel. They're independent toy companies. They're, oh, they're very popular. Hot Toys, Mezco Toys, SHI Figure Arts. Uh, I mean, they do good. I they, I mean, you have, you have you would have to join the toy community. You would see how yeah, there's a lot of pop <laughs> toys now. Well, I mean, I go to the toy stores all the time, and the toys, the, the toy aisles are always empty. No, no toys, no nothing. I mean, distribution needs to be better, but I mean, again, yo, yeah, you have to be on that side to to know. <laughs> you can't make observations. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That one probably won't happen. Because he wants full control and that's not going to happen. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Be I guess. I mean, you could. Maybe. We do, but not the way he's trying to do the movie. Uh, Spawn fans are like, no, don't do that movie. <laughs>
I know. When we've had spawn video games and we've had spa spawn animated movies, which was actually one of the best animated movies when it came out in the nineties. It's actually a show. It went for two it went for three seasons. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, and he had actually one of the best video games in the in the nineties. Actually it was early two thousands when that came out. And he had a video game on the Nintendo. He had a video game for the Xbox. Uh, there was you know, 90s, 2000s. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, that's probably around the time when comics were kind of going down because of all the... Which is when he started doing toys, and then he actually became one of the leader in toys because he was the only guy that was actually doing uh, better articulation than anybody else in the toy industry at that time. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And he's. Yeah. He started his spawn actually because he started the McFarland Toy Company. Nobody made his. He, nobody touched his. Yeah. Yeah, nobody touched his toys until he started making his spawn stuff. Mm-hmm. It was probably like ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Yeah, ninety eight. Well, that's just because it was on HBO, then that wasn't a very good platform to be on at the time. Because not many people had HBO, but that sucks. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think it was a weekly thing. I was doing. Mm hmm.
Oh, Yeah, we'll see that. We'll see what happens with that. I don't know what's going on with that anymore. <laughs> That's what some people said to do, but I don't. Yeah, no, and and he wanted to do that too because what was happening with the, that toy is that no like retailer wanted to buy it at that whatever price point he was going to go for, and they just. That he just said, I'm just gonna do Kickstarter and just do my own thing. Forget the retailers, forget everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but but yeah, check out his uh, check out the video and what he's trying uh, wants to do on it. Um, it was like a good three to four minutes, and uh, but... hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, he has he has all these other like you know gunslinger spawn, and there's the medieval spawn, and then there's yeah, that yeah. I know anti spawn is gonna be on the the scorch team, so. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, pre uh, pre order should start in April here soon. So the book, I guess, these books are coming out here in the summertime. Maybe I don't know. Maybe August. He didn't give a, an official date, I don't think. Yeah, he, uh, he, <laughs> well, that, that's one of the things, that's what I said, that's one thing for sure, is, like, he's always, like, just constantly been, there, Spawn's always just been around, it's not, like, it, it's never really, I'll do this story this this month, or I'll do that. <laughs> uh, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah.
Yeah. I know, I was about to say, uh, yeah, if you want to about to head it off. I don't, yeah, they, he, he hasn't talked about it for a few months now, so I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> so we'll see what he does. I, I just know that they're, they're, the bleeding, who is it? No, Bloom Productions. It's just, they're just, they're just, yeah, they're, they're, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, who knows? But anyways, yeah, that's it. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve. So please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.